Oh no, live. I have to fix the uh, camera settings because it's fluctuating up and down and it gets dark like this. I don't like this where it decreases the brightness. And then if I cover it for a second like this, this is okay. Now after a while it's gonna, looks like I got like a glow. <laughs> okay, we need to uh, watch that. So uh, until I get my 24 seven, until if and when I get my 24 seven, uh, all the video recording going, I'm going to immediately do these live streams to uh, protect myself from noise harassment. All the video recording is makes it harder for the program to hit with noise harassment. I'm not told individual or what's called government gang stalking. And one of the harassment tactics you get if you're told individual is noise harassment. Where, for example, it could be uh, that as a f purely fictitious, like uh, speculative, let's say pretend, like this is the type of stuff that can happen. Let's say right before I went live now, first the neighbor below me was making noises and reeling and banging the walls and then five ten minutes later the other neighbor in the other neighboring apartment meaning first the neighbor beneath my apartment starts being loud when i'm trying to focus and making order supplement order things like this and then the first day goes bang 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 and then five ten minutes later, i put on my my uh, headphones these and it gets even louder. And then the second neighbor who's on that side starts drilling the walls and banging and stuff like this. And then that could make me go, I'm gonna go live, uh, anti no stress, but live CCTV. Because I'm using the other phone to uh, transfer, like free up space to uh, move stuff from this laptop that I use for security footage sometimes, or the video recording that's in use. So that, that's the type of stuff that, that can happen if you turn it on. I'm not saying that that happened, okay? I'm not saying that my neighbors, first that one, and then the one, like the, both neighbors were doing, being noisy, and that's why I went live. But that is something that could happen if you turn it on the video, that type of stuff, okay? Uh, and uh, it, it can keep other, basically it, doing live CCTV streams or just being live, if I make other content, okay, it, it can keep the program from doing no harassment. They can't be as intense. Frequency and intensity of harassment tactics must decrease if the target video is documented. That's a fact. The intensity and frequency of harassment tactics must decrease if the target video is documented. Audio video recording or audio video live streaming, okay, documenting. And anybody that I've seen that gives good advice to toilet individuals, uh, like credible people that don't look completely nuts, they will tell you how to respond to this document, which is what I recommend to toilet individuals too. After I started live streaming, I go outside, uh, that's forced the program to dial down the intensity. It's forced to be more discreet, meaning I'm enforcing my will upon the enemy. Meaning I'm, that's agency, meaning they want to feel powerless like they got pretty much. That makes them more vulnerable to the harassment tactics. But I've forced the program to change, okay? I've forced them to make changes. I've forced them to dial down the intensity of certain harassment tactics when I'm out and about outside by doing the live, uh, live streams that I do. When I go outside and do live streams. And sometimes I've done them privately, but I don't live stream publicly. But just all the video recorded live stream when you're outside, uh, has, that's forced the program to uh, dial down the, the uh, harassment tactics. So, uh, yeah, I'm not saying that my neighbors were harassing me with noise harassment for the government, okay? But that is the type of stuff, as an example, that can happen to toy individuals, which is why it's a good idea to all the video record if you're toy individual. Uh, they can't be as intense with the harassment tactics. They can't. Before I started all the video recording inside of my home, a few years back, I was using a tablet that I had plugged in, similar like a tablet, it's basically an oversized Android phone. And I had a like low level security system, budget security system, where I had a tablet, Samsung Galaxy Tab E, like an old one from 2015 or 14 or something, 60, I don't know. And I had it plugged in like this. 
in a hole inside my apartment, okay? And he was filming the door and then other video recording. Timestamp camera app, which I recommend the targets for uh, documentation purposes, like for, for an anti-noise harassment. If you're a target video, I recommend you to have, I've taught target videos uh, crucial survival advice if you're talking about this shit. So first of all, you need to stop the program going inside your home because if I would leave right now and don't have all the video recording going inside my home, the program will get sneak inside my apartment, get a spare key, pick the lock, they will get inside. I'm not gonna get into all the ways they can get inside. That's called covert entry. And they will spray toxic chemicals. It's the thing they can do. They can put some chemical irritant powder in my bed. It's like, oh, he's not gonna be able to fall asleep tonight. Okay. They can uh, open the fridge. Oh, it's, Mike's got an open pack of coconut milk in here. Let's put this dropper bottle, mystery ingredient, shake it up, put it back just like it was put up. Okay. okay. And then they leave. They get in out five minutes. And I'm downtown shopping. This is something that the program does to target videos, real attack methods. Now the counterintelligence agents, control opposition agents like Shell Snits and others, they will hype the target the videos, what you should be worried about is satellites in space attacking with laser beams and the V2K machines, they read in your mind, you're attacked with satellites in space, reading your mind, cell phone towers changing your emotions and crazy stuff. Because their job is to throw crazy talk. Okay, the government doesn't want the word about Yangsok to get out, but if it does get out, they want to sound crazy and unearthly. Okay, and I get the word out where I make it sound crazy and unearthly. Uh, they don't like that. Okay, uh, but yeah, anyway, so I used to have uh, uh, my security system. I've, I've taught TIs. Now, the program works to hide uh, me from real target videos because they don't want them to get the truth that they need. Okay, they don't want them to get the truth that they need. Um, uh, but before I started, so what am I saying here? I've already talked about that. I've talked about that in other videos. TIs need to have a security system inside their home, especially at the very least when you leave, when you're not at home. So you can make sure that the program doesn't sneak inside your home when you leave and poison your stuff or whatever. They're not going to do good things. They're not going to be like hotel room service at the Ritz or something like this, where they're going to go and open, like put a, a chocolate mint on, on your pillow and, and tidy up. And so that's not what they're going to do if they go inside your apartment. They're not going to do like free... Uh, like high-level room service, like a four-star hotel or something like this. That's not what they're going to do, okay? It's going to be the inverse. They're going to put something on your pillow, maybe some chemical, odorless chemical, drop it on the pillow, and then you're out of body, you come home, you're exhausted, you're going to go to bed and you start itching, and that will keep you from being able to fall asleep. That's another thing that program does. They work to interfere with the target sleep. It's all designed to drive the target nuts, okay? It's crazy-making at a government level. They work to destabilize you psychologically, attack you, break you down physically, psychologically. Um, it's intended to do harm, this program. Psychological harm, physical harm. And one of the things that they do to total leaders is work to attack your sleep. Uh, so that could be, you, they will wake you up and they, they spy on us, so they know when you're going to go to sleep. And, oh, he slept for four hours, not a target. We need to wake him up. And that could be them sending the Jehovah's Witnesses to knock your doors off like this. Or it could be then, if you forgot to per turn on mute on your phone, have a phone salesman call you, hey, I'm from the insurance company, or something like this, and wake you up. They, they, there's a variety of cards they can play, okay? They, they, so th that's one of the things that the program will do. And there's different ways they can achieve that outcome of waking you up when you're sleeping to make sure you don't get eight hours of sleep, okay? And that could be them sending somebody to knock your door, which could be the Jehovah's Witness, a salesman, okay? It could be somebody leafletting, it, but whatever, they, they can get to people. They can call your phone. They can have a loud car pass your house in the neighborhood, like, Rrr! okay, like, you know, like a loud car engine. And see, oh, that didn't wake him up, he's still asleep. And then they try something else. Uh, maybe have uh, somebody drive past your house with loud music, with bass, dun, 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 or something. Or somebody in the neighborhood gets told to start playing loud music, okay? There's different ways they can do it. Uh, yeah, so basically, what, how I used to, uh, I, I used to have this as the security system. I had a Samsung Galaxy Tab, which is basically an oversized Android phone. Okay, it's pay, pretty much this only bigger tablet, and I had it plugged in. Okay, this is the low-level security system, budget security system that I recommend targets to, to have. Okay. And I had it in like a holder, like this, plugged in, and then used the timestamp camera app. And I was audio video recording inside my apartment 
24 7 and i had it set to segmentation to like every hour i like the timestamp cam map i can recommend it for people target individuals as a level one security system okay and that you're documented that will the program can't be as intense with the harassment tactics as i told you if you order video recording 24 7 inside your home they can at 3 a.m every night at 3 a.m make a noise okay that it, it, it's going to be easy for you to make your case it's like oh i'm not crazy and then people go oh yeah it's kind of weird like every night he's woken up by some noise here this date there's a loud engine in the middle of the night and the next day in the middle of the night it's another noise from outside and then the next day in the middle of the night it's a neighbor making a loud noise and it's going to be too obvious it's harder for the deniers to stay in denial and call you crazy then if it's like well yeah it is kind of weird like this keeps happening to me okay so basically all the video recording inside your apartment documenting don't look at that as a hundred percent like you're gonna fight the, like force the program there's a lot of people give you false hope like bust the program just document it's gonna you can beat the program just film the red cars or the one headlight car stuff like this every time you're about if you see a one headlight car film it and then upload it to your youtube channel proof of i'm being gangsta or something like this no you're helping the program then okay and that's what the fakes in the community tries to pressure you to do discrediting yourself make yourself look crazy because then it's like, oh, this guy saw a car with one headlight on it. Now he thinks the government's out to get him. So, okay. They, they force you. They, they work to uh, manipulate you. I've seen this behavior modify the counterintelligence agents. They work to pressure real target individuals into discrediting themselves. And they, do, they achieve that outcome in different ways. They work to achieve that outcome in different ways. One, have you listened to Scott Snitz and people like this and try to brainwash you into believing crazy shit that he tells you? like brain reading machines, satellites in space can read your mind. And then if you talk about it, like, I believe the government can read my mind, I'm a total individual, read my mind with satellite, now you discredit yourself. Or other fakes in the community that will, if you're a TI, come be like, you got a document, like record, you got a document. And then if you look at their channel, what they mean by documenting is make themselves look crazy. Where it's like there's a car, there's a chopper flying over their city the neighborhood and they get a phone in the window and record it and then upload a video proof of gang stock or something like this and like other people go well yeah now and then you see a chopper fly over the city okay or a one one headlight car but anyway um uh, how i used to run my security system so basically the primary thing is forcing the program to be less intense in the harassment tactics okay less intense meaning less effect on you okay they, they can't every time if i'm live streaming when i go outside or okay i'm live streaming they can't have a flash mob every time i go into the supermarket that happened one time before i started recording when i go outside okay we are going to a corner store and it's like the guy behind the counter and maybe one guy in the store at the time okay and then I go inside there and I go around, take my time, buy stuff. And it's like the doors open, it's like people following in. And it's like 15, 10, 15 people within five minutes entering the store. That I would call that uh, like a flash mob, the flash mob tactic used by the program. Uh, and they've stopped doing that since I started all the video recording because it's too obvious. Okay, it's, it's too, that would be too obvious. Like you, if I walk inside the corner store and I film, it's like, oh, it's kind of empty in here. And then people start coming in. It's like, oh, look at one person. And then one, two, three, four, five, more, more people coming in. Um, yeah, so I used to run my security system. I would have a Samsung Galaxy Tab tablet and plugged in to the ball outlet with electrical cord. And I would have the timestamp camera app. And I would be all the video recording 24-7. And I haven't been doing that for a while. Uh, and I'm intending to get back to all the video recording 24 7 inside my home. Um, the program worked really hard to keep TS from finding me because they want to deceive the ignorant. I'm the best person from all I've seen on YouTube, all the people talk about this. I'm the best channel to listen to if you turn the video. Definitely. I don't bullshit you like Scott Snitz and the other fakes. And I tell you things that they don't tell you. Um, I've taken my post workout dose of supplements. I made a top formula supplement order. And now I'm making an Amazon order here. 
bought this neck. Mm -hmm. I this uh, ascorbic acid vitamin C powder. I'm gonna try do a trial order. Normally, I've been buying the Virasig from Amazon, and it's around thirty U.S. dollars for the Virasig, one kilo of ascorbic acid. This one that you've seen me use before when I make vitamin C water. This is the Virasig. I buy this off of Amazon. I have the prime, so I don't have to pay extra for shipping every time I order something. So this is around thirty U.S. dollars. And now I found a key. browsing. I found a kilo of vitamin C that's cheaper, and it's in a bag. 175 crowns, so that will be approximately 18 US dollars. Ascorbic acid powder, vitamin C. So I'm gonna do a trial order of this, uh, try it out. So, nobody can accuse me of shilling. People are paranoid. And sometimes when I start showing my supplements, they think, oh, he's being paid or something like this. Uh, okay, no. Uh, I bought this St. John's worth 90 500 milligram tablets, 99 crowns. So that's approximately 10 US dollars for 90 half a gram St. John's worth tablets. Now it's not on the prime, so it might take up to a week or two weeks until it gets delivered, but it does say free delivery. Uh, I bought this uh, rolling papers uh, for my own tobacco, raw. And um, this, I might replace it. I'm looking around. I bought these Venom contact gel uh, gloves. And these, you can use them as under gloves or as gloves for lighter training. And they have gel. So it's like a one, instead of using hand wraps and then gloves, it's like these are supposed to replace hand wraps. So you have the gloves, they have a gel over here, shock absorption, for so shock absorption effect. And then the gloves have the wraps built into them, I think. It's like you pull the, the uh, glove on, and then there's a wrap on it. Uh, and I might buy that. I also looked at some other stuff. I see that they're out of the liposomal vitamin C, or I would have bought it. I was looking at Altrin C liposomal vitamin C sachets, which have gone up in price. They used to be around five do $50. Uh, and now they're about 60, 70 US dollars and they're out of stock. These, I've also been looking at them. Maybe buy these. What I like about these, they cover the fingers where I've been getting cuts in training. I still have a bandaid here from opening up my skin. So from previous training sessions with the MMA gloves, they go about here, they don't go to this middle knuckle. Uh, they, they cover here and go about down here. And I've been getting a lot of cuts and scrapes in training, like minor stuff, but you can see I have uh, cuts and scrapes on my fingers from training, on both hands. So that would be good to have the ones that go down here, cover more the fingers. Yeah, here's the app that I use. I can recommend it. Timestamp camera app. Timestamp camera free, actually. And you can use that for all the video recording. Inside your home. And I'm gonna set something up so where I have that again. But before I started doing that, before I started doing the 24-7 uh, all the video recording using a tablet with the timestamp camera app, uh, the, the noise harassment would be more intense. I would have more harassment tactics where it's like, Random people come and playing in my door, like salesmen, Jehovah's Witnesses, or whatever. The, the more it will happen more often, and that just my it, it's it's everything quieted down. It got quieter inside my home after I started audio video recording. I could notice a difference. And if you're audio video recording or live stream like I'm doing right now, the program is less likely to start doing noise harassment on it. 
And if you do it once, they might try to fake you out. Like, oh, I've watched Mike's video. I'm a total video. He somehow was able to find his channel despite the shadow banning. Um, they might try to get you to not start all the video recording. So you'd be like the one time you started, oh, they're still doing everything they used to be doing to, to try to make you feel like it's pointless. But if you long term or the video record document inside the home going outside, uh, that will force them to be less intense in their asthma tactics. So the main thing is not to bust the program, okay, and expose it. The main thing is what you can count on. You can count on them being less intense with their asthma tactics if you're already reporting, for sure.
took up the gap for all the future. I'm going to get my cleaning up. I think I might go back to doing the, uh, on a more or less daily basis, the uh, uh, live stream, show my pulse wake adult supplements, which is, uh, of it is for me, but it can also help people successfully because people can see what I'm doing, and what I'm doing is good. Uh, this this uh, one thing I do that I recommend other people do is smoke cigarettes, but other than that, uh, everything else, most people would be better off if they follow what I did, meaning quit the sugar, go cold turkey, quit the sugar, uh, make out all supplements, not the exact same doses, people have individual needs. Some supplements I take, uh, the amount of neck that I take, for example, every day might be too much for somebody else, too little for somebody else. And instead of the toxic chemical countertop cleaners, this is uh, pretty much the most intense cleaning chemical that I use. And it's uh, isopropyl alcohol. Now this is something that I haven't bought before. This is ethanol. From 10 sides, salubrium, uh, surface disinfection, effective against bacteria, fungi, different types of viruses, it says. I use the clean my phone. Now, if you use uh, even alcohol, you want to have uh, good air circulation the fumes of it, you don't want to have inhale too much of the fumes. I have an air purifier there, I have a fan there, I have good circulation, air circulation. So I'm gonna continue ordering stuff now. These look good to me, they cover more of the fingers. The ones I have now, not only are they broken, but they're uh, not covering my fingers. These. I bought these, bought these on Amazon too. I wouldn't say I'm unhappy with them, but they did break. I washed them in 30 degrees a short, 30 minutes, I think 40 degrees, like the lightest washing program. And I think that might have been what uh, opened, them up, opened them up here. I also have been using them. I'm gonna check these for size before all the new ones. I might make some more videos for taller individuals. You can take some time, they're working to hide me from people. Online information about gummy gang circuit taller individuals is tightly controlled. Cooked search results, especially taller individuals, their search results are controlled. And uh, they make it hard for taller individuals to find my stuff. 
I'm going to start uploading more on BitChute. Making videos uploading to BitChute. If you're not subscribed to me on BitChute, I recommend you to subscribe there. Doesn't say what say what size they are. I'm gonna check Amazon. Or the history. The question is if I need both of them. And if I want to use both of them, the gloves, the uh, Venom gel gloves, and these, I might have to get a size larger than what I normally use to be able to fit the uh, gel gloves under them. It might be enough to only buy these. Padded with rubber gel and foam, high quality material, velcro straps for snug secure fitting. Sweat wicking stretchable spandex. Neoprene long wrist wrap with butt for closing. Maybe with these I don't need them and have I could wear wraps on them. I think I might not buy the uh, Venom gel. Pads.
don't buy these. Venom contact gel. Gloves and solvents. Boxing gloves. Both of them. This look interesting too. If you want to keep training hard and frequently, I'm gonna have to uh, wear some more protection equipment. I've been messing up my wrist a little bit from punching steel boards. This uh, plate carrier that I have, bulletproof steel plates. I've been punching that like this, bare knuckle punching steel plates without wraps and gloves. And I've been doing that uh, too often, too hard. And that's created wear and tear on my wrists. So I don't think it's the uh, hitting the dummy here that's made me have sore wrists. Uh, it's uh, hitting the steel plates too often, too hard without wraps and gloves. And that's uh, create like wear and tear on my wrist, and then I, I go to uh, punch it down me. So, what I'm intending to do, if I want to keep training using the dummy, train, be able to train hard and frequently, and not have to take like a week, two weeks out because my wrists are sore, uh, I'm gonna have to start using protection equipment, wrist wraps, maybe some gel pads. And if I train up ahead, I'm gonna train light. I either wait until the soreness is completely gone from my wrists until I train again. Or if I wanna train, decide to train, I'll have to go lighter. Lighter fast, practice the technique and not go that hard. can be worth investing in because I want to be able to train every day if I want to throw punches and I don't want to have to force myself to go light I'm gonna end up throwing hard punches sometimes so 
So it's, it's, uh, it makes sense to buy investors from training equipment. A lot of times, both, uh, if you're a tall individual, they will, if you live in an apartment complex, the government gangs up upon will recruit your neighbors. And uh, don't be surprised, it can be that both, like the neighboring apartment, right next to your apartment, have people working for them, uh, will be an agent, okay? I mean, if you live in an apartment, the, the uh, neighbor, the apartment on top of yours, beneath yours, and to the side of yours, uh, are, they're likely to get one of those people. Uh, involved in the gang stock if you live in an apartment complex long enough if you're talking to you depending on where you live your circumstances but that's something that's commonly reported by talking to you that neighbors will be like I'm not saying anything about my neighbors but I'm saying in general if you're talking to you you can count your neighbors being recruited they might even be in on it before you move into an apartment complex and the program might prep the apartment before you move in where they drill the holes into the neighboring apartments so they can pump gas into your apartment from the neighboring apartment these are things that they might do. I should make more videos for target individuals because I have knowledge that targets need to acquire to uh, survive and possibly thrive as I have described being a target individual. These doesn't say four bags on them. Sometimes they can make gloves for bags and they're made to be more uh, resistant to, to friction and things like this. And then they have other gloves that for spawn that are supposed to spare the skin of the other person and not have too much friction on them and things like this. It can be a little bit different of a design if you're making gloves for uh, hitting bags or for sporing. I mean, I could buy these and then just buy wraps and have them under there. Yeah, you know what I buy these two hundred, three, seventy, eighty, ninety, three hundred pounds, about thirty US dollars for these salmons, boxing gloves, and then these venom contact gel wrist wraps. And these are both wrist wraps and some kind of gel uh, padding. And you it says you're supposed to be able to wear them on the gloves. 
training levels. So by this All right, here you go, order placed. take one of these uh, liposomal vitamin C. They were out of that on Amazon. I checked Amazon. They were out of that. Not in stock. But uh, I have at least 10 of them. So for one a day, I should be able to find another one before these are finished. This is not a form of li vitamin C that takes liposomal. It's a gel. This is my rehydration drink. It's not impossible to do a light training session that you will see. We'll see. I'm gonna repair those glass, gonna use duct tape. I don't have any complaints. It might be that the MMA glass that I bought that broke. I don't know if I would read the instruction where it says don't wash or something like this. Hand wash only, okay? And I wash them in the washing machine. And it might also be for sparring, meaning hitting human skin and not for uh, hitting something like a martial arts stuff. So I don't have any real complaints about the, uh, the martial arts stuff that I bought. But they did break. Where did I put it? Here. Broke here. Fabric opened up. I guess I could use some uh, duct tape. And if I want to do that, I kind of have to wear it when I put it on. It's on the left one. Or surgical tape. Might be better. Now that will give more fridge. You know, we use a surgical tape, metaphor tape. This one.
if I train today, I haven't decided yet. I had some soreness to my wrist. If I train, I'm gonna have to uh, go light. I also have some pain in my left ankle and in my knees. <laughs> okay, which I'm. Uh, uh, a lot of people use these things as an excuse to be to, to not train because they got pain. They want to see it out because the shoulder hurts or something like this. Okay. Uh, last time when I did that training session, I was f fucking injured, low level injured. I had pain in my knees, my both ankles, elbows, wrists, and I, I decided to train anyway. And then I'm going to train. I want to train. And then it's like wiser. It's like I should go easy when I have soreness in all these joints, okay? And I, I thought, I'm just go, I've decided to try, I'm gonna train, I'll just go maybe five to 15 minutes elbow strikes, because that's not the wrists, okay? Just elbow strikes, go light and easy, okay? And I starting out, I, I was going kind of light and easy, ended up training for three hours, I think it was in total that day, uh, pretty intensely. So I have a hard time, uh, going light and easy a lot of times i've gone like i've made videos punching the steel plates which is like a fucking superhero it's like punching steel plates i've got my videos most people couldn't do that punch steel plates that fast that hard without wrist and wraps they couldn't even punch that hard on a bag okay and most people my age couldn't punch that hard and fast on a bag with gloves and stuff nevertheless steel um so anyway here's the point no, oh. <laughs> here's the point. A lot of times I go, I'm gonna go light, okay? Because it's like the, the, the rational thinking, it's like before I start training, the adrenaline starts flowing, and I go, whatever, testosterone, and, and then I go, I am I'm, I'm wanna train today, but I got pain, and I shouldn't go that hard, that's a wise decision. It, it's not good if I go too hard. I shouldn't go too hard. I'm gonna go light, and then I start training, and then, but, it's like I don't, I'm not in the same mindset anymore where it's like, I, 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 I get caught up in it, I, I get carried away, <laughs> okay? Same as I go, go three minutes and I'm playing 30 minutes, something like this. So, we'll see, but I, I probably should go light uh, today if I train. And I'm not promising that, but if I train, I probably should go light and use the uh, wrist wraps. Now, I don't think it's necessarily really bad to be training without uh, with a little bit of wrist there's a uh, UFC fighters so you can find motivation you can find excuses to not do things and you can also find excuses to do things quote unquote you know you can go I got a little bit of wrist some soreness in my wrist and my knees so I'm not gonna train for two weeks or do something like this you could and uh, people will agree well, yeah oh, yeah nobody's gonna call them. say you're or whatever you got pain in your wrists and stuff and injuries people okay, okay you're not training right now <laughs> okay but you can also go well david goggins uh there's a guy david goggins he runs marathons with injuries he's got pain in his knees he goes running pounding concrete asphalt anyway there's ufc fighters that they go into with disguised injuries where they go into the fight and the pre-fight checkup with the doctor, they, they, they hide injuries, they got pain in the neck. If they will tell the doctor they got pain in the neck, be like, I'm not going to clear you for fighting. And they go in to fights injured, okay? Then they might have pain in the wrist or a bad knee or something, they don't tell the doctor. They hide that from people, okay? So you can find excuses to do things, or you can find excuses to not do things. I got a little bit of pain, and I'm not going to train because I got a little bit of pain or something like this. You can find ways to justify the decision of not training, and or you can find ways to justify the decision of training anyway. It's like there's many people out here that, that train even if they have some injury or they have pain somewhere. Now, you have to find the right balance where I shouldn't be training too hard too often because if you already have soreness and inflammation, you're more likely to get injuries and things. And if I would break my wrist, if I go too hard, too fast, without wraps and glass, I break my wrist, maybe I can't train for six months, have to get surgery. Um, so yeah, I think I go light and easy and go on how I feel. If I train today using the dummy, I use the wraps, I use the gloves, I use some medical tape. 
and even if it, it might be a uh, 15 minutes of prep work for five minutes of training or something like this but uh, we'll, we'll see what we do we'll see what we do Yeah, so I've not decided. I am not deciding. And now I can't go back. And I'm going to do some training today. Uh, some light training. Got to do some light training today. Mixed up some more rehydration liquid. 
I bought this electrolyte powder for meds, two flavors. I used to buy the green one, and more recently I bought the uh, whatever flavor is has a different color and taste. No. I'm making coffee now. This cut hasn't healed fully yet. It's still open. I got into some wound care here. Focus on impacting here and not here on a little train. Light light or palm strikes maybe I gotta do some training if it's three minutes five so we can, we can, we can do some light training okay so what we're gonna do now now gonna get my stuff
This is 50 ppm Claude Silver. Cutting soft wipes, which I need to order some more. These cutting soft wipes and these uh, medical tapes that I buy, they come from Apotea.se, Swedish website. And nobody is paying me to talk about any products or where I buy things, etc. Just let you know where I buy it. Uh, and normally I'll buy the uh, cleaning alcohol there to eat the same for. This time, not. This one doesn't come from there. So, what I'm gonna do, keep it simple. This one is almost out. This is 50 ppm quarter silver. I'm just gonna get a drop of it in here. A few drops. Get this, use this as a wound pad. This is a Carisar wipes. It's 70% isopropyl alcohol. It's used a little bit too much. I have a small spray bottle somewhere here. Could have used that instead. So this has been uh, soaked up with 50 ppm chloro silver. Put it there. Let's get a new one. Too much again. Using a diamond pattern. There you go. And this uh, medical tape doesn't trap the motion there, so that it can evaporate through it. It's leukoplast. Speaking of which, I'm gonna make and place an order. Apotea for SE. Buy some more carousel wipes. Now when I need one, I have to look around and say, oh, I, I have a, a few in the bookshelf. So I got this scattered, scattered around. It's like, oh, I dropped one under the bed or something like this. They, oh, I have one over here. There's one behind the laptop on the desk here. Uh, so what I got to do now, I'm gonna order some more things. Charlie soft wipes. Did it stop selling them? Maybe they stopped selling them. Ducks eat this in for plus two semiliter. This is what I buy a lot of time. The uh, cleaning alcohol. Ducks eat this in for There's one liter of it. And then sometimes I buy this other one that's stronger. 
Uh, leave this 72 plus 72 and leave the, that one. I'll buy one of each. And from the the uh, there's a limit how much you can buy in each order. Kilo weight, certainly larger. So I'll make one order for the uh, two liters of clean up and then another order for some other stuff. They were out when I bought my supplements on Top Formula. They were out of ALA, which is unfortunate. The other day, uh, about two days ago, I made a short list of stuff on my phone, supplements to buy, on my note here. Supplements to buy, and I put NAC, ALA, vitamin E, and I bought NAC today, vitamin E, turmeric, ginger, and a lot of other supplements. But the ALA, they were bought out on top for my, when I was going to order them today. That's actually something that happened started the video, by the way. When a program will buy out things, make it be out of stock, something that you need, something that you buy a lot of times if you turn the video. Uh, let's say you a lot of times like you, you buy coconut milk. Don't be surprised that your favorite item is like the program will buy out all the coconut milk. So when you go to buy the coconut milk, they're out of it in the uh, supermarket and you see it. Things like that can happen. Looks like they've stopped carrying cutter soap wipes. Search cutter soft. All the shows up is cutter soft compress. And I bought, where I bought this before is from this website. Maybe they stopped carrying them. Looks like there are of tennis of wipes, which I don't like.
they have another website. They didn't have an apatia, so I searched Google for Carisoft wipes. And here they have, and I'm gonna check what legal options they have. Put it in my cart. Go to the checkout. See what they tell you. DHL, no. Well, that sucks. Maybe they have something on Amazon. Here they have something similar. More expensive one. Twenty three dollars. I found this. Some other company have them. Twenty three dollars. Two hundred thirty three crowns. Five hundred of them. But these are bigger ones. I think. I'm going, I've decided to train today, but I'm going to have to go light. Here they got something, panda cleaner, wet alcohol. Now it says for cleaning glass. That's what the Carousel, I like the Carousel wipes, they're good all around, uh, like a stock, a staple item. And I use it everything from, uh, let's say yesterday I have an Omed meal, okay, and I sit here, I eat here a lot of time. I, I bought something, I eat one time a day, it's called Omed's fasting. I bring my food here, and I sit and eat, and I get some grease on my hands, and then uh, right on the keyboard. And then the next day I can see, I, I touch the keyboard and it's like greasy. I can get a kind of soft wipe, use the alcohol, and then some toilet paper, or uh, one of these and then wipe it off. So you can use it for cleaning your phone okay here if the smart disk is for cleaning your phone camera lenses uh keyboards use them as wound carpuses as you saw me do uh good all run item now they're out of the apotea where i buy these so that's why i've been buying stuff buying the uh medical tapes the cleaning apparatus the uh, surface disinfection alcohol I use for cleaning. Uh, th there's a lot of stuff that I buy there. I also buy the replacement filters for my Dolphy filter pots there. I bought a six pack of replacement filters for my Dolphy filter pot there. They have good prices. Dolphy filter pot with a filter. I think it's uh, around $15, 150 crowns or something like this. And I bought a six pack of replacement filters, maybe around $30, something like this. Uh, now these, these, oh, oh, <laughs> AIEC, moist, 70% isopropyl alcohol, 70 crowns, about $7, isopropyl alcohol, uh, 65 times 30 millimeters, 200 of them, now that's more expensive, so the, the carousel wipes I bought from Apotea, I think they were 20 crowns, maybe 23, 24, 25, something like this. Uh, let's say $3, okay, $3 for uh, 100 of them. I think there's 100 of them. It'll be uh, 30, 60, 
it's about the same price. I think it's strange that they got them out of stock on Apotia.se. That's why I've been buying them and they don't have them anymore. Diabetics use them for uh, when they're gonna check their blood sugar. They clean their finger then. The, the diabetics use it and this is some kind of a it's an online pharmacy type website you can use it if you have prescriptions you can fill it there but they also sell you stuff there like over the counter medical tapes uh, band-aids things like this tweezers uh, wound care stuff I'm gonna check again if they have something Opohem.se, that's not it. Free Fracht. Medea. Well, I was there before. And it didn't, didn't have free delivery. Maybe it's, you have to buy over a certain more than ten dollars or something like this. Yeah, see so they have different uses, they show you. You can use it to clean your phone. You can even bring this with you if you want to. Like you're gonna go to the supermarket, you're gonna touch the, uh, use your credit card and type in the number. You can have one of those and wipe it off before. You use the buttons if you want to. Yeah, I'll buy this. Do a trial order.
up my neck for a while too. It gets kind of chilly in here. In the winter, really. But even now, I have an air purifier there. I do things to ensure good air circulation in here. I have an air purifier there in the window cell. I'm sure you can hear it. I don't have the echo cancellation all right now. And then I have a fan. If you look there, there's a chair there. There's a fan on it. There's an exhaust vent in the bathroom, and I have this have the uh, fan set to sway back and forth like this. So part of it, when it goes to the right side, it's blowing air into the bathroom, but there's an exhaust valve that uh, pulls air from the outside. It takes in air and brings it outside. So I'm doing things to uh, I've optimized the airflow inside my apartment. So first of all, there's an air purifier there that that puts out air purified air, uh, pulls air in in the corner, and then the exhaust is at the top, it goes up. Then there's a fan here that creates a pool that pulls air from in here and blows it towards the kitchen where there's also an exhaust. So part of it, it the uh, fan there goes to the bathroom, the door is open to the bathroom, there's an exhaust at the top of it, and then when it goes towards the window there, that's the kitchen, and then in the kitchen there's an exhaust valve uh, over the uh, stove okay air exhaust so basically there's a good draft in here and uh whatever heat my body's generating i don't have the radiator so now it, it's gonna quickly get pulled away which is good if i'm training and since this is good to have some draft but if you you don't want to go in cold and stiff and start training I might have an undiagnosed neck injury. Uh, I didn't go running about it to the doctors, but I might have an undiagnosed neck injury because I have a pain in my neck and uh, stiffness and uh, a lot of stuff in my neck. No, not to the point I've been throwing headbutts <laughs> in, in training on the dumb man thing. This obviously it's not a serious injury because then you have like a sharp pain if it's into that. But, uh, some some uh, I I think I have some issue with my neck. I don't know if it's the cartilage in between the vertebra that has been broken down, like the cushioning or something like this. The, if I was drunk and I get these injections, the the uh, whatever they call, I've heard Rogan talk about that. People have injuries like a bad shoulder or neck or whatever. There's some kind of injections they get, and there's some something that goes inside of the body and and to the site that would need the most and help to. Uh, to heal it. And these people have a bad neck for like 10, 15 years, they go get this treatment and then it fixes the neck. <sighs> I've had a lot of uh, things happen to my neck. I had a slip and fall in my previous apartment where I face planted. I think I might have broken my nose when it happened to. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I broke it or not, but. Uh, it's a powerful thing, and apparently, I think a lot of people would have gotten knocked out if that happened to them. Uh, I had water on the floor, and I had bad lighting in the kitchen of the apartment. How this accident happened, I had been mopping the floor. The floor in the kitchen was wet. The light was out in the kitchen. I don't know if I had it off or if the light was out and I hadn't got a new one. Then I'm walking fast. I have a lot of momentum walking to the kitchen. What, you've seen me walk, sometimes I walk fast. I think fast, move fast, talk fast, sometimes I do things fast, okay? I have to do fasting too, okay? So I walk into the kitchen, I slip, and then with momentum, go like this, and uh, boom. So it's not like falling where you stand like this and then kind of relax, fall down like this. Yeah, no, it's walk with momentum, walking fast, and then one of the steps, you fall and just fly down into the floor. Like, like slip and, and f fly down into the floor and face plant uh, and, and hit the floor. Boom. And uh, I, I heard the sound like a, a twig snapping in my nose. Like I remember that, like hearing a sound when it happened, when I impacted, like a twig snapping, like kind of you hearing it inside your head. Like, like the sound like that. And I got up and I had blow, uh, blood coming out of my nose 
and feeling like rocked, like feeling like bad. I also had uh, the cop slam on my face once when uh, I was younger. So I've had multiple things that have hurt my neck. Uh, one time I was in uh, Stockholm and I was younger, I was drinking in public. And if you drink in public, the cops and go pour your beer out. And if you're being belligerent and, and drunk in public, they can put you in a rest cell for eight hours. Okay, I haven't been to prison, but I, there are a few times that has happened when I was younger and we were drinking publicly, drunk in public, and then I'm, the cops come, hey, you're going like, hey, right, screw you, like you're being belligerent. And then th th they can take you and put you in a rest cell for eight hours without charging or anything. So just drunk in public and to, like shouting, being loud, something like this, and uh, they can put you in a rest cell for eight hours. And the, 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 one of those times when it happened, the uh, uh, the cops took me to a room in Stockholm. What's it called? Like the square close to Stockholm Central Station. I was drinking there, and the cops come. I was sitting on a bench drinking, and the cops come. Pour that beer off. And I started having an attitude. Okay? And then they go, Pour that beer, I'm drinking beer. Pour it out. I'm not even wanting to make me. <laughs> it's like this. Okay? It's like the, the being young. And uh, they, they come, they, 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 no, I'm not going to pull it out. I'm going to finish my beer. So they, they, they take it, and then I, I start being verbally aggressive with them. And uh, they, they, they uh, eventually, they take me, and they handcuff me, and they take me to this room uh, inside of the central station, close to it. And it's the square in stock. I don't remember what it's called, but it had, like, the black and white tiles uh, on the square. And they take me to this uh, little room that they have inside of the... Uh, the train station. They had like a little room, kind of like a small locker room or something like this with benches. They take me in there and I'm handcuffed behind my back and I'm sitting down on a bench there in a small little room and there's two cops standing there. I think maybe one that was sitting next to me, that one was there, I don't know. But I, I was sitting like this handcuffed behind my back on there. And then in the middle, I, I start being annoyed and I feel like I'm uncomfortable. I want to, for some I'm standing, I'm un intending to get my hands down and I'm intending to get my cuffs in front of me. So I'm sitting like this, and I was thinking, I was gonna do this, and then get my cuffs in front of me. And I stand up and start doing this, and then what, they, they slam me on the ground, and I hit my face again. So I'm cuffed behind my back, and they, they put me on the ground, and I hit my face, hit in the ground. Uh, so I've, I've had a lot of stuff happen to my neck. So I wouldn't be surprised if I would get an x-ray, they could see there's something wrong in there. I don't know if I have a fracture, one of the vertebra, or so kind of small fracture, or if it's the uh, cushioning in between the vertebra that's bad. I don't know, but it's something. And it gets worse when the tooth infection, when I feel like the uh, tooth infection goes out. Sixteen twenty seven.
Yeah, so I'm intending to do a light training session today. But I decided to train, so I'm, I'm going to train. I think I'll store it within an hour or two. So this, I'm intending for it to be more technique training and not cardio. I'm gonna go light, so I'm not gonna, I'm not aiming to do the uh, intensity and duration enough to have become cardio training. It's more uh, technique and moving on a little bit.
I'm not gonna claim in this stream, not for anyone. Live training session. I'm all in the morning, I'm starting to work here, or it might get pretty loud, I don't have echo translation. If you're listening with headphones, you might want to turn down your volume.
this is the electrolyte powder I bought off from meds. I like it, it's a little bit pricey, but I like it, it's good. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna mix up some vitamin C water too.
the nasal winds and uh, go over with fog war.
I want to give my body some time to absorb the uh, grand pulse wake up of the supplements I took not that long ago. I think there could be a connection between that and my, me getting stomach cramps sometimes when I've been training. That it's uh, maybe an hour before, 30 minutes, an hour too, too soon. Take a big dose of supplements and then uh, I drink a lot of water, which can interfere with the uh, absorption of the supplements. Could be a, that, that could be why I get stomach cramps. Training too close to my grand pulse with the bottle supplement. And then drink a bunch of water to hydrate before I start training. If I need the stomach acid. And then I start training, that could be why I get the stomach cramps sometimes. Like I said, I'm going to deal with lightning in section. Don't expect thunder and lightning, necessarily, but well, you never know. But uh, don't expect thunder and lightning. I'm intending to do lightning in session. Sometimes I listen to music when I train, sometimes not. Sometimes I use music as a pre-workout. And uh, most of my training sessions are impromptu and I go in cold. And I'm, uh, I've started to kind of force myself to do some prep work. But most of my training sessions, uh, I just go in cold, hit record and start training. And do it. But uh, I started forcing myself to do more prep work and like make sure you hydrate before you start training. Don't go in cold and stiff. Put on some protection equipment, things like this. Sometimes I listen to music, it gets me hyped up and I feel like training. So I can use this instead of using the cutters off wipes that I'm out. I can use the uh, paper towels and then soak it up. It's pretty much the same thing. So I kind of call it's damp with uh, cleaning alcohol. And then use it like this instead. Pretty much the same thing. Until I get the uh, alcohol wipes that I want. Those things like this. They're good. I like them. They're a staple item. Use of anything from uh, cleaning, headphones, phones, headphones, phones, laptops, keyboards, wound compress. Use it as a like wound compress. That's my birds. The bird cage is right behind the laptop.
tak som kala indič, indič, nech som kala prís. So it's a repeating pattern, you have the diamond pattern for the moon compass. There's a lot of diamonds, diamond shapes associated with this activity. If you are, really, I wouldn't have to point it out if we had above average pattern recognition ability. But in case you don't, it's been pointed out to you. The word of God is swift, powerful, sharp, ready to edge its sword. Piercing, dividing asunder, is a discern on the thoughts and tents of the heart. Yeah, I'm gonna end this story on the stream.